is removed. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know, big storms are going to be a problem again tomorrow late afternoon and evening. So boaters, it should be OK throughout right. most of the morning and early afternoon. But then after that, look out. Uh, we had some big storms earlier today. In fact, one uh, spawning a funnel cloud. You see right here, this is from the UTC Mall. Lori Woods getting this one looking off toward the west. That funnel cloud eventually turned into a water spot. We'll show you that in a minute. Uh, also, B Ridge, Mike C, also looking to the southwest, spotting that funnel cloud in the ominous looking sky there. And sure, it dumped rain up to about three inches, causing some flooding. This is at Sarasota downtown, right there near 10th Street and US 41. Uh, because of the construction there, having some issues with some uh, flooding there. Now, the video that we're going to see here just now is uh, the water spout that formed. This is on the north bridge of Siesta Key, looking out over Sarasota Bay toward uh, John Ringley. Now, the full video is on my uh, Facebook page. You can actually see that water spout cross over the bridge and then go through the rest of the bay there. Again, there's a person that kind of videotape and eventually he gets scared and moves away because it gets real close to him. But you can see that water being churned up by that water spout. That's all over now and it could be returning tomorrow, though. We are looking for similar conditions with that east wind butting up against the west coast sea breeze. Some big storms earlier have since ended now. Some light rain still lingering, mainly off in the Gulf of Mexico. And as I said, the rain came heavy at times in just a short period of time, and that did cause some flooding problems. Nearly three inches at the Gulf Gate area. This is US 41 and Stickney Point. And then you can see that rain spreading northward all the way to uh, near B Ridge and then 2.5 inches near downtown Sarasota. Some rainfall gauges near the Gulf Gate area reporting up to five inches of rain or close to it. Uh, so the forecast overnight, we're not expecting a lot of rainfall. There'll be a few showers offshore. We have this upper level low, which is spinning around and enhancing these storms in the afternoon. On top of that, the West Coast sea breeze not penetrating too far inland because of that stronger easterly wind. So the two will meet right there near the coast. And yes, another round of showers and storms in the offing. But most of the day should be OK. As I said, the same goes true for Sunday uh, with maybe a little bit more widespread coverage. Well, the tropics are back at it again. A busy, busy, busy right now. Uh, we have four separate systems we're watching. One near Bermuda, one coming out of here, uh, one just to the east of the uh, Windward Islands there, and another one off the coast of Africa. Five separate systems. And uh, this one in particular, interesting to note, is heading toward the Carolina coast. It has a 30% chance developing. This one has a 60% chance. This one as well, 60. This one up to 70 over the next five days. So we'll watch it. Not having an impact on any land area at this time, but this one is kind of interesting. It's uh, almost the remnants that we think of what was Florence, uh, and most of the models bend it off before it reaches the Carolina coast. We hope that happens. Uh, the US, uh, United States model takes it closer to the coast, so we'll watch that uh, very closely next Wednesday and Thursday. Uh, it will be close, so we'll keep an eye on this too, well off the coast of Africa. 77 degrees now. Uh, the current temperature things have cooled a little bit, but still uh, in the upper 70s to low 80s across the region. And as far as our current conditions go, we have not partly cloudy skies, but uh, we have uh, mostly fair skies. 89 the high today, right at the average and 74 is the average low. So for boaters, east winds turn to the northwest at 10 knots. Seas will be one to two feet with a light chop out there. Here's the seven day forecast calling for a good chance for those scattered storms running in through really um, Tuesday of next week, and then less of a chance comes on Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. And Scott will be keeping an eye on the tropics.